Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Sareed Ahmed and today we are going to discuss how flavin adenine dinucleotide is produced during the biochemical reactions. Our topic of this discussion is what? Reduction of FAD2, FADH2. Okay. In other words, FAD2 two hydrogens and uh, it becomes what FADH2 okay well to understand all this where these two these two hydrogens are attached we have to see through the structure by understanding the structure of flavin molecule we would be able to understand the addition of these two hydrogens. So let us first see the structure of flavin molecule. Here is what the structure of flavin molecule. And uh, by understanding it you would be able to see where these two hydrogens these are inarticulated into uh, what this is the this is the structure of flavin molecule okay so what is this r we'll have to we'll have to understand it why do we call it flavin adenine dinucleotide you have stated the the nucleotide of adenine guanine cytosine thiamine uracil those are all mononucleotides this is a dinucleotide I may, I may remind you people that there is another dinucleotide which is what? NAD. Okay. We'll study uh, after, after this lecture, in some other lecture, we'll, we'll also study the structure of uh, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide also. Okay. So this uh, coenzyme, flavin adenine dinucleotide, this coenzyme helps many enzymes during the biochemical reactions as uh, you you might might have stated in case of what uh, glycolysis krebs cycle etc etc during krebs cycle this uh, flavin adenine dinucleotide it reacts okay uh, it helps the enzymes okay so now uh, let us see what is this R. This is R. This alkyl group. Okay. Uh, let me let me draw the structure of this uh, alkyl group. This here is what five carbon. One, two, three, four, five. Five carbon pentose sugar. Its name, you might have stated in the structure of carbohydrates. Its name is what? D ribitol. What? D ribitol. This this is what? D ribitol. Okay. Here is D ribitol. D ribitol. Okay, and uh, this uh, d ribitol reacts with phosphate and it becomes what this, uh, I mean, flavin, flavin molecule along with 
D-ribitol, it reacts with the phosphate and uh, hydrogen oxide. I mean, uh, water is removed and uh, here, what is formed, you know, this is now flavin, flavin mononucleotide, okay, it reacts with what, it reacts with another nucleotide and you might have stated in the structure of nucleophiles this is you see what the this is what adenine okay and uh, it reacts uh, with what? This is adenine nucleotide. Okay. Adenine nucleotide up to here. This is, you know, what? Bilateral sugar. And this is what? Bilateral. This is what? Flavin. So flavin nucleotide and adenine nucleotide, these two nucleotides, they react together and they form what? Uh, here, you see water molecule is released and uh, a pyrophosphate is generated here joining these two nucleotides. But this is what, now you can call it very clearly, Pyrophosphate. Okay. And this whole structure is what? It is FAD. Flavin, flavin, adenine, dinucleotide. Okay. Now let us uh, let us understand the addition of two hydrogens. Suppose two hydrogens are added into a certain biochemical reaction and it becomes reduced. Okay? You know, when succinate is converted into succinate during Krebs cycle, what happens? FAD is reduced into FADH2. Two hydrogens are received by this molecule. What happens? Suppose uh, here is that uh, series of Krebs cycle taking place. Okay, and here is what happens. FAD is converted into FADH2. Okay, so how two hydrogens? say two hydrogens are liberated from here okay those two hydrogens would be adjusted here okay here and here so this is uh, viewers this is what how uh, how the I'm sorry, here is the bond, bond is shifted over here, and uh, this is hydrogen, and this is hydrogen, okay, this is how FAD has, has become FADH2, okay, thank you very much, and uh, in the next, uh, in the next lecture, 
you will understand how uh, NAD is converted into NADH and we'll, uh, we'll try to answer to this question why NAD is uh, when it is reduced why it is it, it uh, doesn't become NADH NADH2 why it is NADH at any cost okay we'll understand in the next lecture thank you very much